I better stop by over here, because I mean, hey, if Nats is going to be keeping track of my every move, might as well juke him with my hideouts. But, okay, gotta keep focus. Okay. Lady to call! Lady to call! Where is she? You requested oh! requested my presence, dear! Ah, uh, yes, I have requested your presence there. <laughs> Didn't expect you to pop up over there. <laughs> it's very mystic ruins this, so you made a good decision, my dear. Lovely place. Oh yeah, so yeah, this is yeah, this is one of my little hideout yeah, it's one of my little hideouts here. This one here I kinda got a little inspiration after me and Chris visited uh, a hot spring a hot springs resort once. Oh you don't need to tell me what kind of boo hoo things you did over there. Whoa, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. We did not cross that boundary there, no. It's okay. That crab's friendly. Just as long as you don't try to punch him, we're good. <laughs> I'm not knuckles, don't worry, my student. I'm coming over there. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, let me just uh move up here then. Give her some room. Oh, you want me to come upstairs? Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> oh, hello! Sorry, I'm not used to stairs. I haven't climbed oh. them in thousands of years. Back since, you know, back during the temple days. Hello! <laughs> temple. <laughs> yep. Sorry, just, uh... I... At least I'm not sure if you're in the loop, but I do have good news. I found all seven... I found all seven bonds to become the seven Chaos Emerald Holders. I sensed it. My tiara started glowing when I realized she did it. She found all seven holders. I'm very <laughs> proud of you. I knew you could do it. Yeah, it wasn't easy, and I had a very, very bad obstacle that still pops in every now and again, but... Hey, at least I found them all That's before. That's part of adventure. <laughs> yeah, at least the good news is I did manage to find them all, but... Well, hey, in the words of a certain speedy blue hedgehog, an adventure's no fun if it's too easy. That is true, but also at the same time, I think it's best to say... I think also plus in, in the in the thoughts of a certain blue hedgehog, the egghead is probably a lot more fun to mess around with than some other enemy that just wants to, well, make life miserable. Well, I do have a bit of a bone to pick with Eggman because he tricked my friend and mind controlled him against his will to try and destroy Station Square. And apparently in a certain other dimension of Mobius he did it twice. Yeah. Well I don't remember uh, the name of it though. Well, at least from what I could be able to double check, uh, this Eggman in this dimension here has not been active. Chris had actually double checked on it too, to be sure he wasn't involved. Thankfully, he wasn't involved in this uh, obstacle that had been popping in. I've heard about this obstacle. By the way, don't mind me. I'm just waving to the fellow sea creatures. <laughs> you know, I become very, uh, I'm a very motherly gal when it comes to animals. But I know I've heard of this Nacho guy. Am I correct? <laughs> it's not Sue, but yeah. He's. I heard the muse how, how she refers to him as Nacho, and I figured anyone who hurts my student does not deserve any respect from the teacher. <laughs> well, I will admit, though, at least people seem to like the Nacho nickname a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> it fits! He looks like a burnt Nacho. Anyway, yeah. My student. But as you for me. You should be very proud and honored. Yes? Well, yeah, I am. I am proud. I am proud. But the thing is, apparently, not sure if you could be able to sense my mind. It's been in quite a disarray for some time. I can. Didn't want to point it out because I was afraid you were going to be all. No, I thought the training worked. Don't worry, my mm. dear. Everyone's yeah. mind can get a little loopy from now and then, and combined with your heart being whole again, I understand the adjustments are a bit rough. So don't fret. Yeah, well, You'll be at least... back to your crazy level of normal soon. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, at least <laughs> I did feel my personality returning in a way, so understandable on that part. And then, as for here, yes. yeah, it's... Even though with my heart returning, still can be a bit of a mess up there, but... On the bright side, hey, at, le at least I was able to get my heart back, back in one piece after I was able to find the last holder. 
Though, however, with Natsu, however, with Natsu, he has been he has been atta attacking other. He's been attacking the, those holders as well as people who've rejected or that I've considered. I know that one of them you considered was a bit of a rough moment. By the way, there are coins all over the floor. Are you rich? Uh, no, and they're not real coins. They're just decoration. That and when I showed AG the spot here, she always throws a coin there, hoping to, for her wish to be granted. <laughs> oh, I can tell. I bet the muse wants to marry that fusion hog that she knows. Most likely. However, can, at least she's choosing tell. the. She's head over heels for him. Mm -hmm. But although, although, hey, I encourage it. But at the same time, at least she chose the smart route to give it some time. I mean, I know how she feels. Yes. I know how she feels when it comes to wanting to marry the man that you love. I know. I can already imagine you in the gorgeous wedding gown as Chris pops the question. And you two stand on the beach. <laughs> Why are you intruding my brain, Lady Tickle? How did you know? It's obvious, my dear. You uh. always give off the vibe of wanting a beach wedding. <laughs> Who doesn't love a beach wedding? Yeah, true. Small but still My scenic. My had a wedding on the beach. <laughs> now all I can say is yeah, small but scenic. I can deal with small. <laughs> but yes. anyways, though. Yeah, though. Yeah, but though I want to give I want to give all the holders some extra time though before we finish up the process because after smart, my dear. yeah because one. One, I did not find this out until Cookie was able to get some more research done. That they all had mm -hmm. gained, they all gained chaos energy. So those that are not used to it, they're still trying to get used to it. Those that already have it, they're trying to get used to the extra power. Though there have been some downsides that have been occurring, such as the certain yellow muse puking after using chaos control. Oh, I sensed it. I feel bad for her, because she used chaos control to get to a concert on time and ended up vomiting all over the stage. Thankfully, the show didn't stop yet, so... But I do feel bad for her. Mm -hmm. I really feel bad for her. It's embarrassing. I told... That's why yeah, everyone I... knows that only a certain licorice hog is a chaos control master. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah, and fun... Yeah, and then also... But anyways, but... As for them, I want them to be able to get used to it, and those that end up getting attacked by Natsu, I want to make sure that at least they're 100% before we start gathering everyone. You are gathering so much information to the point where I don't even need to tell you, my dear. <laughs> You've learned so much. A common misconception with rituals that I've experienced in my own clan is that they rush them. They assume that as soon as everything is ready, they run in and they do the ritual, but something goes wrong. Especially if you've seen all those cliche horror movies from the 1980s. Yep. They always oh, assume that the second everything's ready, they jump into the ritual without preparing properly. You must yeah, when give come... your fellow holders time. Right. When it comes to when it comes to rituals or ceremonies, they're just like battles or trying to organize a party. Plan mm -hmm. ahead. Give fair warning. Yes. And make sure that they are ready as well. Exactly. If one was to step into the Master Emerald, they need to have their mind in a certain state. Mm -hmm. Wait, step into the Master Emerald? Wait, what? Oh. Well, this is the part where the Sensei usually unveils some sort of hidden information that they kept from the student for plot purposes mm -hmm. and for comedy purposes if you were to have a funny reaction. The mm -hmm. ritual's not going to be taking place on any random burial ground or anything. Mm -hmm. well, You're going I to an entirely different plane of existence, my dear. Well, I'm fully aware that technically we're supposed to be over at the Master Emerald Shrine to do the ritual because Master Emerald will be right there, and we got seven holders, seven Chaos Emeralds. But yes, one for each spot. Mm -hmm. Though, however, going inside the Master Emerald, that is new to me. Don't worry, don't worry. You won't run into anything creepy or crazy. Chaos and I are roommates. It might be a little messy in there, but. That's more chaos. I'm the neat freak. I have to tell him all the time to clean up his things. All the time. But don't worry, my dear. Plus, with this nacho guy running around, if we were to do this in any other normal place, he would probably try to track you down. The Master Emerald will ensure pure, unaffected protection. No one will bother you, 
the holders, the guides, or anyone who joins in. You will be able to complete the ritual and gain the power that you desperately try so hard to prove that you're worthy of. And based on what I've seen, my dear, you are more than worthy. So don't even think about doubting yourself now. You are literally very close to the finish line. <laughs> and I know you will not give up. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> well, just as long as no one tries to interfere Christmas with it. Christmas that is very adorable. <clears throat> I am not adorable. Boop. Oh. Spirit, keep in mind. <laughs> I can touch spirits, so... Boop, 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 boop. Oh, dear! <laughs> very funny. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> Seems as our bond has gotten stronger, you've picked up all my tricks now, dear. Well, you are very dealing clever. with somebody who's called the angel of life in another world. <laughs> Well, very clever, Sailor Scout. <laughs> very clever. <laughs> <laughs> Azara raised a fine young woman. Mm. Uh, oh, Azara, <laughs> you met my grandmother? Yes. She and I have been connected to this whole thing. Did you not know? I thought she may have uh, had some involvement with this, because... Even... Did you really think she... your family wouldn't be involved, my dear? No. Not necessarily. She's supposed... I know she's the ancestor of the Fox Kingdom, but I did not realize that you two have been having some chit-chats there. It's a family thing. And a teacher thing, of course. By the way, Azara kind of gave me the idea of where the best spot to pet you is. Right here! No, no, no. You're welcome, Azara! <laughs> you are just adorable! Mm -hmm. oh. I know that Obsidian will one day warm up to you. He's a bit of a... He's a bit of a tough cookie. Tough bloody cookie, but don't worry. He <laughs> likes you. He's just being a tsundere. Like all more dark beings are. <laughs> eh, I'm, fully, I'm fully aware of it. Tsundere? Uh, <laughs> I already know a lot more when it comes to him. He ain't no tsundere. Trust me. Yeah, just trying to be light about the situation. You want me to I be know light? I he's been a bit off lately. Yes? Yeah, I was gonna say, well, yeah, because, yeah, he's definitely been off because, uh, well, mainly because of the fact that, uh, he hasn't been talking into my head, so that got, that's getting me worried. Hey, it's a typical dark being thing. They assume either A, you can handle this on your own, or B, they're busy with other things. Most likely B. Most mm. likely B. I'm but hoping that they're actually busy and not just all of a sudden missing, because... Yeah, I have my concerns, but enough about that. Um, yes. Though, okay, so I do know. So, oh, oh you okay? Oh, my age is showing. <laughs> oh, no, I'm fine. Do you my need... age is showing when I step into you... the mortal realm and I try to climb the stairs. Do you need? Oh. Do you need me to help you? Oh, I'm not that old. I can. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh, how does Sonic do this every day? Well. Hey, Sonic runs up the stairs. What, is he rocky? <laughs> uh, well, you know how he is. He runs around the speed of sound constantly, but at any rate, though, um... Well, he's got places to go and tries to follow his rainbow. Uh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> so again, my dear, you should prepare for the ritual, but don't stress too much, all right? Everyone has their spots secured, but keep in mind, any false bond does not immediately mean that the bond is ruined. But if someone tends to get aggressive and a little petty or immature about the fact that they weren't chosen, or that the Emerald rejected them, you may need to be careful around them, because it may show that there's a little bit more to why they were so eager to get close to you. Uh, Nobody wants to be used. I know, but the thing is, is I should that, know. yeah, I've already ran into one false bond. Is it your daughter, Zoe? Yeah. This crap kind of creeps me out. <laughs> hey. Yeah, it's still... Yes. Yeah, I'm still... It still makes me sad that... Of what happened, but I'm hoping that... She'll be able to open her eyes, that way we can have a... At least have a discussion on... What happened. And then... My dear? Hmm? You shouldn't worry. I mean... I knew that you wouldn't ask every single one of your children, because 
first off, there's, you don't have enough kids to make up for each and every one of them. Plus, <laughs> you have so many people in your life. And I, I understand as a mother, you don't want to put your children in danger. Could you imagine if Natsu attacked Eclipse? I do not want to think terrible. about that. Uh, that boy already still gives me a heart attack, still, no matter what he does. <laughs> exactly. Plus, he's but... a bit of a drunk, and I don't know if you'd want him passing out from too much alcohol during the ritual. He's holding the emerald, and all of a sudden... <laughs> yeah, uh, no. But, however, the thing is, yes. is that... Is that... when it, Pretty much, I know that, hey, I went to start... Pretty much, obviously, I went with my plan to start with, uh... I'll just start with Chris, move up to family, and then to teams. So, pretty much I did. Yes. Pretty much, obviously, Chris had accepted. And is the first holder. I asked yes, a few you others. Your love. Mm -hmm. And then For I asked. Uh, <laughs> and then I asked uh, Sailor Harmony, also known as Barry. She accepted. I asked uh, Draco. He had rejected. Quite harsh. Well. But still, nonetheless. Hey. Mm? I know that Draco rejected because he already has a position as a knight. Which is not as bad as people might think. It's not in downgrade, nor is it better. He's accepted his position that he has already, and he doesn't want to jeopardize it. Plus, yeah. Yeah. he feels that his bond with you is strong enough. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't fret. That. Draco would take a bullet for you. Plus, you can't have peace without harmony. And Barry yeah, helped you point. guide yourself on the right path as well. Mm -hmm. and, and then, uh... Okay, sorry. Making sure you didn't you touch the ponytail. <laughs> yeah, and then... That's all right. I was just walking yeah. over here. And she then, well... Barry. Yeah, and then, well, I did ask a boyfriend and girlfriend, but they both rejected for their own reasons. Boy not boyfriend, lie, because I would have been happy if either of them chose, but eh. hey, human, when it comes to the, when it comes to the, pretty much all I can say is fate is just like chaos. Chaos is just like fate. Sometimes fate says something different, and when it comes to chaos, of course, it could say something different. But in regards to that, they're still family. I asked them both. Both I'm of them did reject. Both of them did reject yes. boyfriend because he does believe in our bond. And girlfriend, she rejected because she was just a little bit worried about how her power, how about how her power is going to interact with the, with with the power of chaos. So she was being cautious. So, but that and chaos doesn't particularly like humans. Ever since Eggman, you know, manipulated and tried to hurt him, so that was more chaos's weaseling in. So I apologize on that. But I don't think it would have been that bad of an idea to make sure that only Mobians. Got the powers of chaos because it's always been better used by us Mobians anyway, so that's not but, me, that's more chaos. His preference not mine. To call I'm remember, I'm not even Mobian. Well you embrace it better than anyone else I know could have. Mm -hmm. You know. And, you do it better and, than anyone uh, at GUN, anyone who works in the government, anyone who works even in a magical standpoint is a human. <laughs> You seem but... to be the only non-Mobian who's bothered to try and understand us to the strong extent. That makes you more Mobian than you could mm -hmm. ever imagine. <laughs> At this point, where you might as well be one. Yeah. Though the thing is, though, it's too, an... uh, to call, to call, plus you gotta remember, two humanoids are part of the holders. Barry, obviously. And then the final holder, yes. which I'll get to, um, but, and then obviously AG has become a holder, and then afterward, I did ask yes. Zoe, Memory. but the false, but the false. Hmm. Ag represents memory. Hmm. For obvious reasons. Oh yeah, she does like to talk about how she and I first met. But, <laughs> anyways, she and then she really loves you like a sister. <laughs> it's very adorable. Yep. And then I tried, and then I tried asking Zoe, but then obviously, well, you know what happened. And then after a few. It could have been a bond of motherhood. <sighs> mm hmm. But then, but then afterwards, uh, I asked Alex, and he accepted, and he has become a holder. Friendship. Very fitting. And quite obvious, might I add. I kind of suspected that Sonia Dilver 3 some kid would have eventually become a holder. <laughs> yep, and then, uh... The reason why after... I call him kid is because I'm severely older. I'm in the thousands in my age. People forget. <laughs> <laughs> and don't worry, people keep forgetting my age, too. But you know what? It's probably for the better because I'm tired of having to reiterate my age. But... Anyways. Agreed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then, yeah, Continue. and then after, 
Yeah, and then afterwards, after I uh, got some mental training done with AG, I did ask Blade. He had rejected, also oh. because of concerns about power, but also feels he's more better being the lone wolf, which, hey, I can understand. I've been down that route before. <sighs> I don't but know why at least... you would think that that demon boy would have been a good choice, but I mean, hey, if, if you, you thought he was worthy, then I have to understand somehow. He's hey. a strong fighter, that I give him, but if he's a lone wolf and doesn't like teamwork, automatic no. You need to be well, able to work with others. Yeah, but at the same time, you also, also you and several others have been telling me to follow my heart and follow my gut, and also plus kind of follow, follow where the path will take me. Apparently, all three of them tried leading over to him, but however, even though he rejected... At least it was a little bit more pleasant than his usual no. Yes, that demon boy kind of creeps me out, not gonna lie. He's weird, but eh, everyone needs a weirdo in this multiverse. Kind of like how every village needs an idiot. That's more of my father's seen... terms, not mine. Well, all I can say is I've seen weirder, but anyways. And then I went to go... <laughs> True. And then afterwards, went to go find uh, Chills and Dragon, per Alex's suggestion... However, I ran into Child's pest of a brother that's been causing everyone problems. Oh, that's yeah, and on top, fool. Yeah, and on top of it too, he he and guessing that this Dr. Emix guy had helped him out, he disguised himself as Child, and when my senses were completely dead, I couldn't read his aura. What? He tried to he tried to he tried to um let's just say he pulled the number one rule when it comes to disguises. Never go after the power. Because he tried... Because uh, he mistake. tried to... Yeah, all we can say is that he tried... The Emerald thankfully notified me that, hey, there's no bond right there. I'm like, wait, what? Initially, I thought, oh my god, but then... It was revealed to be him. All I could say is... <sighs> never mess with the Mistress of Disguise. I know how, how... What to do when you are... In disguise. You don't go for the power, you go for the information. But yes, I kicked his butt. I mean, but I kicked fair. his butt afterwards, and I think I made him. Um, I think I made him scared of me for a little bit. <laughs> I mean, you taught me one thing: who needs a Halloween store when you have a disguiser pin? <laughs> I may then... borrow that for a Halloween party, if I may, my student, because I want to join. I'm sick of being in the Master Emerald during Halloween. I want to go actually have fun and party. Talk to Eclipse. He has I want to be more hip. <laughs> oh, that little the little fella. <laughs> yeah, I could ask him. Yeah. Anyways, and in return but... I'll give him booze. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but then anyways, thankfully I found both Child and Dragon. I asked them both. They both accepted. Child was a bit of a was a bit of a tricky one because he tried to say no, but the thing is, I knew I felt something. Something told me spirit. Hmm? Spirit. He has the spirit of a true holder. He represents the spirit of a warrior. I mean, the the, the boy died, and yes, came true. back even stronger. True. If but... that doesn't show fighting spirit, I don't know what does. Well, the thing is, though, spirit I like, yeah, but though I feel like there's something more to it because, like I said, he tried to say no and tried to turn away. Dragon was kind of a little ticked because of the fact that he kept on denying it because he kept calling himself a liability that he's not going to be able to work with it well. I keep telling Child, hey, it's okay. If he accepts, it's okay. Pretty much I have more faith that with our with our bond there that if he didn't become a holder, then hey, I wouldn't be afraid if the emerald didn't glow. So thankfully, he thankfully he's he after some thinking, I could have sworn he may have saw something, because afterward he held his head and then said that he'll accept. Made him a holder. Boom. He had become he had become a holder, though I think he has um, suddenly turned into Mike because he tried chaos control and dropped about I think twelve or fifteen feet from the air. So he was teleported randomly up into the air and then just fell. Yeah. Oh much. lord. Yep. And That's then the drawback. And, if you don't yep. mind me asking, what happened to the fusion hog when he tried? I have no idea because he hadn't got a chance to try it out. He was more focused on Don't. trying to. He was focused on trying to find Children Dragon to give him the heads up on the whole situation, as well as uh, he ended up he ended up getting severely injured by Natsu. Oh dear. Yeah, because when I went to go I'm see sure him last, 
Yeah, when I went yeah. to go see him last, yeah, he, pretty much his shoulders were both dislocated. One of his arms was completely broken, and his windpipe <gasps> was crushed. This Natsu... It gets on my nerves, but... To go against my father's wishes, I refuse to not take pity on him. And I refuse to acknowledge him in a disgusting way. I prefer to stay on the positive side and help my student <laughs> for the sake of everyone else and not for the sake of just tearing down one pathetic soul. By the way, why do you have these books? They they have uh, books on... Uh, this book is on um, best date locations? Best honeymoon locations? Uh, uh, I buy these. Okay, the date locations, I actually had gotten it over at one of the newer bookstores that had just opened up. The honeymoon one, Best I have no idea. I think, uh... I think Barry must have left that behind a long while back before her and Draco finally tied the knot. But anyways, <clears throat> so, then um, explain but... the best wedding cake book. <laughs> this one was recent. Oh. Anyway, okay, you were that, saying. Okay, the wedding cake... The, okay, the wedding cake one... Let's just say that me and several others are going to be making a wedding cake for boyfriend and girlfriend's wedding. But we will talk about that later. Anyways, so... Oh, congratulations! Yes, continue. <laughs> Anyways, so but as for spirit, Dragon... my dear. Yep, and then Dragon, yes. pretty much he pretty much he accepted fate. and has become a holder as well. Fate. The holder of fate. Fate? fate? Hmm. Dragon's a holder of fate. Probably because... He literally has a form that's similar to it. Well, his form is called Faith, but Fate... It probably does ex well then again it kind of makes sense though because I mean he did save I mean he did technically save my life before you're able to communicate with me for the first time yes the pumpkin hmm. spice boy knows a thing or two about fighting to save people and always having faith in them and making sure that fate turns in their favor that boy <laughs> has a lot of plot armor on him it's strange and as another orange being I find that a bit unnerving <laughs> Well, here's the thing, though, <laughs> Lady to call. At least you don't have the nickname Pumpkin Spice. <laughs> no, I do not. Some people call me. Some people would call me a, a Madam Dreads because of my dreads. <laughs> well, hey, at Obviously. least they look good on you. At least they look good on you, though. But anyways, move on. Oh, um, I've had this and then... for centuries. Yes. <laughs> and Dragon's then, the holder anyway. of fate. Mm -hmm. Holder of fate, but anyways, so then, then afterwards I, then afterwards I had to go over to the Vox Kingdom because initially I was gonna ask Rosaria to become a, to become a holder, as well as get my ha heart back as one piece. Good, good news is that thankfully my heart, obviously you can tell my heart's back to normal. However, Rosaria oh rejected, Rosaria rejected, and she became another guardian knight. Well, that's girl power, if you ask me. <laughs> well, funnily enough, too, she's the queen of the foxes, and when I told the Angel of Death about that, he finds it a little bit interesting, the fact that, that a queen is willing to become a knight to a princess. Then he must not have met the muse. She's the leader of an entire army of powerful women and a queen, well, as well as her <laughs> twin sister. You should introduce him to them! Actually, those two have well, already met, but, um, it wasn't on, oh. uh, particularly good terms, because, uh, we'll talk about that later. But anyways, but, um, and, but however, her, um, betrothed, Mitsuhide, who was actually, used to be my sensei in battle for, when I was very small, he ended up being the seventh holder. The holder of knowledge. Very fitting. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you were this big, it was adorable. How did you know what I looked like when I was this big? Mm. Azara. Azara. She may have okay, shown me photos that and videos. Sense. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't. I did not know that she was able on, to produce. Did you really think? Okay, photos and portraits I can understand. I did not know she could produce videos. What has that woman not well, been telling really me? Just, <laughs> it's really just looking back into the memories. She would like project them out of her mind, and I would watch them almost like a home video. It was so sweet. I remember you stumbled one time you made someone trip. It was adorable. <laughs> and you're still adorable. I'm not adorable. Yes, you are. I personally make sure all three guides reassure that. 
as well as the holders. But you found all seven, my dear. <laughs> and all the things they represent. Yeah. You should be very proud. You are <laughs> so close. I know. I am proud, and I'm happy I was able to find them. <sighs> though, it's been kind of feeling kind of a little difficult, though, in the mind, because I know that there was other people that I have in mind to become holders, but I never got a chance to ask, because either they have their own... They have their own issues they're dealing with, or they were unavailable. Oh, these flowers are beautiful. Eclipse is one of them I know. that I've considered, but I think it's safe to say that, uh, yeah, he stays out of, out of this. I don't want him getting attacked by Natsu. And also, plus, I don't yes. want uh, Team Unison to put the blame on me for it. Oh, right. It's a bumblebee... Lady Licorice and that little darkling, right? Yes. <laughs> Lady Licorice. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Anyways. What? And I then... mean, if Shadow is Licorice, then it makes sense that Shadina is Lady Licorice. True. What? I have nicknames for people I know of. True. And, uh... Mostly through you. <laughs> yeah, others I've also considered. I was considering, uh, Kale's the Wolf. Hmm. However... However, at the same time, I held back on it because, uh, well, she does have, technically have the power of the Master Emerald. So if there was going to be eight holders, then maybe she'd be number eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Master Emerald on its own could power itself. It's charged by the seven chaos. You know, you know the prayer. The servers are the seven chaos, not mm -hmm. the seven servers plus one. True. Let's see. And it's not like a club where you could bring a plus one. That's true. But let's see. I was also going to consider Raziel as well. However, our bond is still technically in the building process, so chances are I that. Suspected. Yeah. So chances are, if I do ask him, the Emerald's going to say no. Yes. How does it but... make you feel better, my dear? Hmm? The way I see it, your bonds are like these flowers here. They're growing. They started way down here, as little buds, and they kept growing, and growing, and growing, and growing, and growing, and growing, and growing until now they're here! Fully mm -hmm. grown. Mm -hmm. Like the flower you've become. If only this flower was silver like your fur and not yellow. But it's fitting. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of the muse. <laughs> oh yeah. And... They smell yeah, gorgeous other... too. Yeah, but otherwise, throughout this, throughout this quest though, I've also ran into several others as well that... I started building bonds with uh, one. I met another Saiyan called Goku. Goku? What's a Goku? Goku. Uh, Goku. Goku. Go Go Goku. 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 Mm -hmm. Why does that name sound familiar? Dragon Ball. Why does that name sound familiar? Oh, from that um. Oh, the Kame. Yes, that's that. that. <laughs> yes. Oh but my yeah, when wait, is, isn't he that isn't he that, that that tall orange screamer guy that goes ha Right? That's yeah, that's him. However, in person, however, I know that he actually happens to be friends with uh, Dragon and Blade. But in person, oh. whenever he's uh, you know, not focused on the fight, he's actually a very chill person. Hmm, kind of like Knuckles, except not as Red and fisty. <laughs> see. Oh, oh yeah, and also I ran into this uh, hedge fox who happens to be an elemental god called Superior. Oh, Superior! Oh, I've heard of him. He is the sweetest, floofiest nature god that I've ever seen. He's adorable. You're not He's wrong. He's the most wholesome nature boy I've ever seen. <laughs> he is beyond wholesome. I swear, there need to be more gods and deities out there like him. Because there are too many dark Gaias and freaking Solarises out there. There needs yeah. to be more superiors. Yeah, you're not wrong. And plus, uh, he and I got a chance to test out each other's power, and he... I guess he almost mistaken me for being a god. <laughs> He's that wholesome. He's very quick to discount his own abilities in favor of making someone else feel better about their own. <laughs> He's very considered and very kind. I can <laughs> see why the muse calls him a brother. And then, oh yeah, and then also I ran into uh, this girl here, the poor girl, 
a spirit trapped within a di digital world, but uh, due to mm -hmm. s due to circumstances that happened uh, 30 years in, in the past, her name is Sarah, but she also goes by Needle Mouse. Oh, you had me confused for a second. Something like, wait, Sarah? You mean Sarah the Hedgehog? The detective? No, nope, not or that the Sarah. Artist? Nope, not that. Nope, not that Sarah. No, when nope, you said not needle, that Sarah. Don't don't worry. When you said when you said Needle Mouse, I immediately knew who you were talking about. I just needed some clarification first. Mm -hmm. Needle but Mouse. Yeah, needle, I think but I've yeah, heard Needle of Mouse. Her. Yeah, her, but though, sadly, I would love to though. Yeah, but all I could say is that yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna say yeah. Some people will say be careful when you pick up abandoned discs. So all I could say is. Yeah, I wish that maybe my brain and my heart would probably follow the same way, but at the same time, in a way, I guess that's when fate said, said, hey, she needs help. So, I'm hoping though that once everything is all squared away on my side here, and she's done with whatever she's doing with her associate, then I'll try to see if maybe there is a way to try to get her out of that world. I mean, no one likes to be trapped. I exactly. should know! Mm -hmm. But oh, anyways, the and then... Beautiful. Did you grow um, them yourself? Yeah, I've plant planted a few of them. Initially, I just wasn't going to be growing in any flowers here, but uh, <laughs> some people yeah, had sure. convinced me otherwise. <laughs> hey, but, was it superior? <laughs> mm, not, not, not necessarily. I believe it was. Uh, I believe. I believe. I can't remember if it was Chris or Rouge that suggested I do that, but yeah. Who knows? Probably the bat. She's very fashion forward. That's true. Beautiful. But... <laughs> yeah, but otherwise, I haven't. Otherwise, besides just a couple of enemies that pretty much. I keep along in the water. <laughs> but besides just a couple of enemies that are pretty much not necessarily. Uh, need. that are not necessarily oh, important. Fun. <laughs> don't worry oh, about the crabs. Oh. Don't worry. They're, they're harmless as long as you don't agitate them. I'm not just going to put them in the water where they belong because these creatures look like they're thirsty. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm very motherly towards creatures. You were it's saying, okay. my dear. I think it's they okay. like my. I think they like my hands. Oh. It's okay. Oh. Anyways. Okay, sit down, boys. Okay. Uh, do they have <laughs> names? Do they have names? Uh, one of them's Bob, and the other's Enrico. Bob, Henry, and Enrico. Okay, lovely. Um. Where's the, the, the downstairs hot springs? Uh, follow me, follow me, follow me. I'll show oh, you. <laughs> oh, there it is. Upstairs. Oh, oh, oh. Careful, careful. Oh, gosh. I'm alright. Okay, good boys. Okay, good mm -hmm. boys. Then. Follow me down here. Or. Yes, ma'am. Or, okay. Uh, okay, careful. Uh, uh, careful, they're magical. Okay, that works too. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello there. Yeah, but... <sighs> yeah, otherwise, though, but yeah, I haven't really ran into any other, um... Any other actual dangers besides Natsu getting in the way. I'm just hoping that he doesn't go after the other holders. Well, you can't control what he does. Judging by what happened to some of the holders getting their bones broken, and is it true that one of them got their brain fried? Like Frankenstein style? Is that true? That is news to me. Wait, uh, you don't know? No, um... Wait, hang on. Wait, I thought... Hold on. I thought you knew, my dear. Hold on, hold on. This is peace. Oh, Chris? What's going on? Go find AG ASAP. Danger? Alright, I'm on my way. Over and out. Oh dear. Oh, it's, it's as I predicted. I guess that I guess that Natsu was gonna go after AG next. I swear to god her brain didn't better not gotten fried out or I am Hey, calm down, calm down, calm down. Breathe, my dear shh. <sighs> I sensed her energy, and I was afraid that, that if you didn't know, I would have to tell you, or if you already knew, you would have been there for her already. I'm it's surprised okay. you didn't know. It's this, right. I've just been informed about 
office, he said that he caught that Chris had caught Natsu's energy signature, but also caught uh, Eiji's tracking. From what it looked like, he said that there was a battle, but I need to get over to Eiji ASAP because he's afraid that he's going to do worse to her, which is what I'm afraid of. But anyways, I'll get right over to them, but I need to... Don't wait, dear. I won't. I won't, but... But anyways, yes. but just... Anything else that I need to be aware of before I leave? Best you tell me now. Hmm? Yes, I have two important things, my dear. One, Chaos is going to be there to help you out. Because one, he has a very strong connection with the Master Emerald just like me. And he's mm -hmm. very good at protecting people from outside forces. And plus, well, he wants to be there to support you. Of course. Understandable. Alright, and, and second... Hmm? I'm, and second, I'm going to be inviting more friends. For the sake of making sure everything goes smooth, and because this is a very big moment, I need all the help I can get to help perfect this. I can't do everything on my own. So expect to see more people than you probably expect within the Master Emerald. It's going to be a bit crowded, probably, but hopefully not too crowded. I Just letting not. you know ahead of time, my dear. Okay. You can right. do this. Look at me. You can do this, my student. You are right there. You are right at the finish line. You're at the final lap, the home stretch. You're right there. Now go find Eiji. She's right. probably I'm... in grave danger. I will. I'm going to go find the her right now. Is a positive energy. Hurry, go. That positive I'm on it. That energy cannot be afforded to be lost. Go for it, my student. Protect your I'm on it. Got it. Chaos, control! <laughs>